we asked and you delivered. We asked our fans for questions that would be helpful as they are applying all of the philosophy we are teaching at Reality Based Leadership. So I've gotten probably 50 questions and we are gonna work our way through those with some answers um, that you desire. So here's a question, Sai, how do you approach a leader whose comfort zone is to lead and mentor people with broken toggle switches rather than people who are high performers but still need or want that mentorship? And here's my advice to this person who wants mentorship but continues to go to someone who in their opinion only mentors those with broken toggle switches. Y'all know my first shot at this is stop judging, start helping, and this person's really judging their leader. So I would get back to neutral. That's my number one answer to almost every question in the beginning, but let's go deeper. In this case, I would say follow the simple instructions and stop arguing with reality. So let's unpack this because I want you to follow the simple instructions and I want you to stop arguing with reality because I want you happy and successful. What do I mean by this? You say that you want mentorship, but you want it from someone who prefers to mentor people who are only toggled down or have broken toggle switches according to you. So here's the simple instructions. You want mentorship from someone who prefers not to give it to people like you. So follow the simple instructions. If you want mentorship, stop asking a person who prefers not to give it to people like you and go get it from people who are willing and do prefer to give it to people like you. It doesn't mean you have to change your job. It doesn't mean your boss is horrible. It just means that many times we get stuck because we get ego stubborn. We get stuck because I want mentoring and I made up a rule it should come from my boss and it should come equally and it should come to people as they deserve it like me. And now you are so far down into the spiral, you're completely stuck. How do you get unstuck? Start to do some self-reflection. First piece of self-reflection, is it mentorship I want or am I throwing a tantrum because my boss doesn't mentor in the way I believe he or she should? Is this a call for mentorship or is it a call for fairness? Is it a call for equal preference? See, those are calls of the ego disguised as a need for growth and mentorship. Your growth might come from just the fact that the universe isn't giving you what you want in the way you want it, and you get to decide and decipher, is this a tantrum or a need? If it's a need, go find somebody willing to mentor you. Get away from mentoring just coming in the form of a person. Maybe mentoring is just observing someone handle a single situation well and taking that information in for your own growth. Maybe mentoring and growing comes from your own pursuit of knowledge through reading, through connecting, through networking. Maybe it is working with people outside of your area. I'm not sure what it is, but if you take responsibility for getting yourself your own mentoring, you will also become more free because your mentoring will be portable no matter where you go in life. It's something you can carry with you and that's the definition of freedom. And lastly, um, not just meeting the need yourself, but if you want a more structured piece of mentoring, go to someone you idolize or enjoy or um, want to make yourself after rather than someone you hold in contempt. So many of us know what we need, but we go to the wrong place to get our needs met. You can argue with reality, but what you need to realize is you will lose that argument, but only 100% of the time. So while you're judging the person who you want to mentor you for focusing on the wrong people, what we find out here is perhaps you're focusing on the wrong people. See, that what we judge others for almost always is what we are or aren't doing ourselves. It is the mirror back to us that they're reflecting to us what we can change. They're mentoring the wrong people. Perhaps you're going to the wrong people for mentoring. Freedom is always there, but it only comes from self-reflection. My hope is you're loving some of these deeper dives into your questions, and hopefully you're following me on all my social media at Cy Wakeman, and hopefully you're sharing it with people you care a lot about. And if you have questions, put them in the comments below, and they may appear on the next episode.